Hello everyone. In this video, we shall discuss how to solve quadratic equations in one variable. So what is a quadratic equation? An equation having the form a times x squared plus b times x plus e equals zero is a quadratic equation in one variable, which is said to be in standard form. So the coefficients a, b, and c are all real numbers, and a should not be equal to zero because if a is zero, this whole term here will become zero, and the equation will become just a linear equation in one variable x. So examples of quadratic equations are as follows. So you can have 2x squared minus 3x equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation standard form where a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 3, while c is equal to 0. Another example would be x squared minus 16 equals 0. So here, this is also a quadratic equation in standard form where a is equal to 1. And then since there is no x term, then b is equal to 0, while the negative 16 is the constant c. And then another quadratic equation would be uh, 3x minus 1 times x plus 1 um, equals 7. But this one is not in standard form, so we shall uh, use the FOIL method first in the left side. So we get 3x squared, that's your 3x times x. 2x times 1 is positive 3x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1 equals 7. And then combining like terms or similar terms at the left side, this gives us 3x squared. So 3x minus x is positive 2x. And then we have minus 1 equals 7. However, this is not in standard form because uh, one side or none of the sides is or are equal to zero. So in this case, we shall test for seven. So we get 3x squared plus 2x and then negative one minus seven is negative eight equals zero. So now this is a quadratic equation in standard form where a is equal to three, b is equal to two, and c is equal to negative eight. Now for this video, we shall focus on solving quadratic equations using factoring method. So of course, we are working on the assumption that, that, the, or that one of the sides of the quadratic equation um, should be factorable. Now if the quadratic expression is not factorable, then we can solve it by other methods, which will be uh, discussed in another set of videos. Okay, so for now, let's uh, focus on the factoring method. Okay, so let's solve the following equation. So for the first example, let's consider x squared plus 6x equals zero. So this is in standard form. So we can just factor out x squared plus 6x. So since uh, both terms contain x, then x is the common factor. And then to get the second factor, we divide each term of the quadratic expression by the common factor x. So x squared over x is x. And then positive 6x divided by x is positive 6, which is equal to 0. So now um, by the zero product property, then we can equate both of these factors to zero. So this would imply that x is equal to zero or x plus six is equal to zero. So for x plus six equals zero, we can transpose positive six. So we get x is equal to negative six. So the solution to this equation or the solutions are zero and negative six. So substituting zero, or negative six to the original equation will give us an equality. Okay, second example, x squared 
minus 1x minus 28 equals 0. So again, this is in standard form. So we can just factor the quadratic equation at the left hand side. Now, this is a trinomial, and the trinomial doesn't have a common factor. So we just need to check if this is a perfect square trinomial or not. The first term here is a perfect square. So it's uh, we can factor it as x times x. However, the negative 28 is not a perfect square here, so which means that this trinomial is not a perfect square trinomial. So we shall factor this using trial and error methods. So the factors that would be x minus uh, this is x minus 14. And then we have x plus 2. Okay, let, let us check now if the factors are correct. So x times x is x squared. x times 2 is positive 2x. Negative 14 times x is negative 14x. Added to the positive 2x, that gives us negative 12x. And then negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 22. And then using the zero product law, then x minus 14 is equated to 0 or x plus 2 is equated to 0. So transposing the constants in both equations, we get x equals positive 14. And for the other one, it's x is equal to negative 2. So again, I will leave this to you to check you know, if 14 and negative 2 will really give us an equality in our original equation. For our third example, let's have 3x minus 1 times x plus 1 equals 7. So again, in the previous uh, examples earlier, uh, we have to write the uh, given equation in standard form. So this is 3x squared um, plus 2x minus 1 equals 7. And then transposing 7 to the other side, that gives us 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals zero. So now this thing is in standard form. So we can just factor out the left side. So we get the factors of 3x squared, which are 3x and x. And then we get the factors of negative 8. So here we can have minus 4 and plus 2. So negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. But we still need to check the middle term. So by multiplying the outside terms, 3x times 2 is positive 6x. And the inside terms, negative 4 times x is negative 4x. So that 6x minus 4x is positive 2x. So these are the correct factors of the quadratic expression. So now using the zero product law, 3x minus 4 will be equated to 0, or x plus 2 is equated to 0. So for the first equation, Transpose to negative 4, now we get dx equals negative 4, I'm sorry, positive 4. And then dividing both sides by 3 will give us x is equal to positive 4 thirds. Now for the seventh linear equation, we will transpose positive 2, so we get x is equal to negative 2. So the solution of this quadratic equation is 4 thirds and negative 2. And then finally, if we have 2x squared is equal to x plus 15. So again, we have to write this in standard form first by transposing x plus 15 to the left side. So that gives us 2x squared minus x minus 15 equals 0. And then factoring out 2x squared minus x minus 15, we get 2x plus 5 times x minus 3. So to check, 2x times x is 2x squared. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And then the product of the outside terms is negative 6x. Product of the inside terms is 5x. So negative 6x plus 5x is negative x. So these are the correct factors. And then again, by the zero product property, 2x plus 5 equated to 0 or x minus 3 
is equal to zero. So solving for x in both of the equations, this will give us two x is equal to negative five, and then dividing both sides by two, this will result two x is equal to negative five over two, and then for the other equation, that will be x is equal to three. So our solution for this quadratic equation is negative five over two, and positive three. Now for quadratic equation in standard form where the quadratic expression is not factorable, then we can use other methods other than factoring. And those methods are the completing the square method and by the use of the quadratic formula. But those methods will be discussed in another set of videos. Now, thank you for listening in this video and I hope that you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.